On the 20th of September, Bonhams in London will sell the largest private collection of jewels by Andrew Greemer ever to come to auction. The collection comprises 55 lots from some of his earliest pieces made in London during the swinging 60s to his heyday in the 1970s when he was patronised by royalty, celebrities and those in the arts, his reinvention in the 1990s after his relocation to Switzerland and a few pieces made just before his death in 2007. The jewellery industry in London post-World War II was conservative, stereotyped and old-fashioned. Andrew Greemer had no formal jewellery training as a designer or a gemologist or as jewellery manufacturer and this was part of the secret of his success. He was unencumbered by technical knowledge when dreaming up his jewels so he could afford to be uninhibited and original. Drawing and sketching had always been a hobby and this, coupled with his engineering knowledge, helped him to break the mould. His designs were audacious, impactful and put large semi-precious stones and textured gold at the forefront. He wanted to create something interesting, design-led jewels that people wanted to wear and he wanted to give the wearer a morale boost after the crises of war. This collection, compiled over the past 20 years, comprises 55 works, including signature gold textured wire from the 1960s, examples of rough crystals and gems from his collections of rock revival and sticks and stones from the 1970s. The collection includes six watches from Andrew Greemer's iconic About Time collection, designed for Omega. Omega approached him in 1969 to create a series of watches and timepieces and the original list of 55 watches and 31 matching jewels were based around an Omega movement. Grima hit upon the revolutionary concept of using a gemstone as the watch glass, therefore you would see time through a gem. He did not see jewels as merely anonymous vehicles to display the wealth and the status of the wearer. He wanted to match jewellery design with the modernist spirit in art and architecture. Pre-sale viewing will take place in Hong Kong, Geneva, New York and London, culminating in the sale on the 20th of September.